Hmm. I'm just so delighted to be here with you all. I can just sit here and look at you all and smile all night and not say a word. Mm -hmm. I love the questions. Fantastic. Really great. And I feel so lucky to be open to education and the nature of mind. That's what I'm grateful. And then also continuing to show up to the incredible gift that we have with a root teacher that is providing root fluency in the nature of intelligence. And I hadn't even heard the term root teacher, root trainer, root guru ever before. And, and as I continue to show up and enjoy the Four Mainstays, then in retrospect, the obviousness is obvious. <laughs> and that's amidst our day-to-day -day life. It's totally in the flow of our day-to-day -day life. And I had had glimpses prior to Balanced View where the obviousness of indivisibility, where there was no internal or external view, the seamless view of clear light was totally evident, but it wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't sustained, so to speak, even though it is sustained all the time. It's our only sustainable view right now. We're not going anywhere. We're not collecting anything. We're not getting to a different destination in the future. But I never had a teacher that was fluent, that is fluent in the obviousness of reality. And th that is, that is the key. That's just so obvious to me that that is the ultimate key. And then those that are drawn to a teacher of root fluency are the field that are acknowledging reality as it is, our true identity as it really truly is. And so, yes, initially there's an introduction. You know, we've all been introduced. We've gone to back to basics again and again and again. You know, stop thinking just for a moment. What's obvious? The alert openness. It's always on, never changes. All of the display of experience self releases instantaneously. We don't do anything to get. A phenomenal experience or get rid of it. It's instantaneous self-release, automatic self-release. So then we come to recognize that the comprehensive view or a balanced view is effortless, completely effortless and dynamic. And what really drew me to balanced view was that the guarantee that our strengths, gifts, and talents will continue to bloom to no end and that it's for the benefit of all. And that, I think that's just when we want the truth, when we know everyone in, our, in their heart wants the truth, we're just na naturally magnetized to the truth. And so again, the disposition of openness to be, be seen as we truly are. And the great fortune of that is that Naturally, what we enjoy, how we enjoy contributing, continues to effortlessly become evident. And we do that in, within our family, within our work, teaming within friends, within Balanced View. And I notice when I team within a, a, a group of, of friends that are relying on short moments, you know, enjoying a relationship with one another, with complete openness, mutual respect, gratitude, that not only is it easier, it's more fun, and that everyone is taking responsibility for their data. Everyone's taking responsibility for relying on open intelligence as the means for skillful relating and contributing. And and the more I kept showing up, initially when I showed up in service, I was like, oh my gosh. It was like all my principal data were more apparent. It's 
like holy um, neon sign. But luckily, we know we have a choice. We can allow that to be as it is, maintain complete openness, stay put as open intelligence, and sure enough, the self-release is evident, leaving no trace, like the flight path of the bird in the sky, effortless. And so all the metaphors start to come alive in our direct experience. The obviousness of open intelligence, like the sky and the color blue, open intelligence and data. And I, I just relish the metaphors, because when I started thinking about trying to understand the training or the results or am I doing it right, I often would you know, go to the metaphors. It just would open up the obviousness without trying to think about something. And I really, really appreciate my trainer stating very clearly, and I think it might have been within a training, that everyone that, that's been introduced to open intelligence and has that instinctive realization is already a complete success. That's your success. And then from there, we keep acknowledging the obviousness of instinctive open intelligence for moment by moment fresh beneficial responsiveness. And it's such a relief because I, uh, I, I definitely had the to-do list and I still have the to-do list, but now there's no stress with the to-do list. And before there felt like, like a weight, uh, a heaviness. And, and I was like so excited to check something off the to-do list. I was like, yeah. And, and, then I, then, and now I don't have this just spike of satisfaction just for a check mark. It's like the pleasure is pervasive. Whereas before, I didn't notice the pervasive pleasure of open intelligence as the basis for whatever the experience is. And recently, I, had, um, I was emailing with um, a friend in the community, and, and we both, I, we, this is all via email. There was no verbal communication. And the topic came up about you know, some data that was really challenging. And, and I just spontaneously wrote, you know, what if purple fairies that were hula hooping kept showing up in your, you know, uh, awareness? And some people might not like purple hula hooping fairies, and some might like purple hula hooping fairies. You know, but if they are spontaneously apparent, they self-release, leaving no trace. But we have a choice. I mean, how are we going to relate with the purple hula hooping fairies? I mean, that is up to us. And then we come to recognize that in the clear view, the internal and external disappear. The idea of a separate identity vanishes, even though there's a unique display that's shimmering moment by moment, just like everything is shimmering moment by moment, self-releasing. So it's much more fun effortless and 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 I I never knew the the term magical until I heard uh, our teacher share uh, my teacher share about you know the magic of of pure benefit and and now I know that it's not pinned to anything that that magic is inexhaustible the magic of reality giving to itself inexhaustibly and so a momentary thought about a personality trait, about being someone separate, that's a momentary thought like a purple fairy hula hooping that self-releases leaving no trace, but open intelligence remains completely stable, indestructible. And so next time there's something that comes up that you, know, you wish wouldn't be the apparent display Notice it's already gone. It's already self-released. The thought about it is the next data stream that's already self-released. So when we look at it practically, we, we notice freedom and immediate perception. Freedom and immediate perception. And that freedom and freshness of complete perceptual openness empowers us to relate in a way that is 
mutually beneficial because there is no separate someone. It's all an indivisible, pure view. So I, I, I remember the moment I, I heard, you, you know, arrogance is actually taking oneself to be a separate identity. I was like, wow. Wow. And so just continuing to show up the teeming within the transmission potency of a root trainer, I weave back to that because that's where I effortlessly noticed no internal or external view, the seamless, clear view. And there I didn't do anything but show up and enjoy the mainstays and keep showing up. And and what I find is more and more gratitude, more and more awe, and more and more reverence. And, wow. So I feel we're all in, in a pure openness opening together and blooming together, like a field of wildflowers with legs. <laughs> So it doesn't mean we don't have a to-do list. It just means there's complete relaxation with that to-do list and the stability to pivot and shift based on the stability of open intelligence. And I, I, I really, I, tr- I, I gave complete trust and faith in a being that has such fluency and I'm grateful that I had such trust and faith because now there's no need for trust and faith. There is complete certainty in the uh, leadership that demonstrates consistently, I mean 14 years of consistent demonstration of mutual benefit and increasingly skillful, and all of us together increasingly skillful. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, we we all can reflect on how far we've come, what it was like before and what it's like now. That's proof of the teaming together in sharing our gifts, strengths, and talents. And I, I know coming to these meetings even, I didn't know I was giving the talk tonight. I walked in and, oh, okay, great. (laughs) Um, But I can feel like we all come together and there's so much ease. There's so much ease to be together. And we're, we're coming down, sitting in chairs, you know, having a meal together, and all of us enjoying the restfulness of open intelligence as the basis in our native language, spoken or unspoken. And that's not separate from anyone or every, anything anywhere. Wow. This is a contribution that I couldn't have imagined, and I can't even imagine what, what's to come. But I'm happy to keep showing up and share with all of you and enjoy this adventure together. It's totally incredible. And I'm so grateful to you know, anyone who's open to showing up, because then the guarantee of the results is evident. And that's how it's going to be evident for everyone everywhere as a collective, even though we're already a seamless collective. It's, it'll be obvious. And, and the wishes I had as a child for all, everyone in the world to have food, clothing, water, and shelter, and also enjoy contributing. Like, wow, I know that solution is right here in our direct experience, moment by moment, rather than maybe someday in the future we'll have a solution for that. It's like, no, it's right now, instinctive openness pervasive, instinctive openness. So keeping it simple and continuing to show up. And yeah, thank you so much, friends. <laughs>